Uh, so, Ruth, mm -hmm. um, we are both teachers. That's right. And we have students, and we teach our students English. Yes. And English is not their first language. Mm -hmm. What do you do in class when students do not speak English, when they speak their own language instead? Firstly, I give them a stern look, although that doesn't always work. Mm. Um, then, well, if I'm setting an activity... I always make sure that I ask them, first of all, which language they're going to do the activity in. And any student who's not going to speak English has to put their hand up. And generally, students don't like to be the odd one out, so they don't put their hand up. <laughs> That's a pretty good strategy. What do you I'm, do? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't had much success, really. So I've actually been pretty casual about it. I just let them speak um, occasionally to each other in their own language. Really? And, yeah. And then, well, I just encourage that they speak English, but I figure as long as they're trying to speak in English and they do the majority of it in English, that when they have to speak a little bit of their language, mm -hmm. that's okay. I mean, as long as it's quick and... I, I really think English should be the only language they speak in class if they're learning English. Mm. But don't you think that's just too hard that maybe... It actually brings them down. They strain too hard. That sometimes it's just easy for them to communicate really quickly, and then switch back to English. I think it's really good for them. To mm -hmm. I think it's a challenge. I'm not saying it's easy for them, but I do think it's good for them, and I think it helps their English to improve more quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe I should try it. I'll give it a try, but uh, it might be too late because I've already let them, you know, not do it. So. So do you think you might start this week? I'll try, but uh, I have to be careful because I don't want to shock them too much. <laughs>